G'day guys, what's going on? My name is Dylan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to another WWE video. This one guys, as you know by the title, is five real life interviews with WWE wrestlers that went wrong. Looking forward to this very much guys, because I know there's a famous one, a very, very, very famous one by CM Punk. Uh, and uh, I didn't quite see all of that one guys, but I have seen little snippets of it because um, it was in one of his... Uh, uh, promos and stuff like that. So um, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, drop a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Let's go. Damn, that's the one in South Africa. Imagine standing on a tight, a tight rope and about to extend your arms out in the open to do your pose that people have recognized for almost a decade after a match that you have won in South Africa at the beginning of a five-day tour. Yeah. And as you're completely in your own little world going, oh, I'm so glad it's over because I can't wait to get back to my hotel and take a shower and eat some catering, you get hit in the balls. What would you do? You'd probably fall over, break your neck, and die. I had the wherewithal to make sure I fell inside the ring. But either way, what you might conceive as a work or a shoot, like you have no idea what's real and what's not. When we, we, you, you, you could not, you know what I mean? But common sense would tell you that this little skinny runt that looks like a local South African guy wearing shoes and jeans and one raggly elbow pad did you, did you recognize him like from being on the run no so you thought it was a work because you read it on the internet no no i didn't think i just oh okay right right rumors i love the internet oh strange indeed yeah yeah but but yeah yeah I, I sure as hell didn't sell for the fucking guy. Um, I wish I would have kicked him harder in the face. But uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We good? Dang, do you reckon that was true? WWE. He was interviewed on Off The Record and was asked many wrestling related questions about his wrestling days with the WWE and why he left the company. This Throughout the whole interview, about. the interview made a joke out of CM Punk and his career in wrestling and never really brought out UFC related questions for Punk as that was the main purpose for this whole interview. Chef Boyardee, Phil Brooks, will it happen? Join us for a fight you can't miss on a day we can't tell you against an opponent we don't know in a weight class to be determined. May or may not ever happen. So what do you think, you and the chef? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fight the chef, I'll fight you, I'll fight anybody. Well, no, you're not, you're not going to fight me. Uh, have you actually ever... Uh, and if you were fighting me, I would say going in, in the news conference, I would say, I've never taken a real punch in the face. Uh, I hope you don't find this disrespectful, but have you actually taken a real punch? You're going to ask me if I've ever taken a real punch in the face? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I haven't seen some of the guys I was wrestling in the WWE. Yes, I have taken a real punch in the face. But, but, but wouldn't you agree that, that that is different to that than being in the octagon, say, with a guy who is punching to hurt? It's not part of putting on a show? Again, you probably haven't seen some of the guys. This guy's disrespectful, man. I'm trying to get a reading on this. Uh, are, are you kind of pissed off at the questions that I've asked? Of course he is. Uh, they're very wrestling-centric, and, you know, I'm here to talk about UFC, but... No, you're you're doing your job, and now now you're asking me if I'm pissed off, so now, you know, I'm... You have an agenda. It's okay. Well, I don't have Dang. an agenda. Like, what am I going to ask you about UFC? You're not a UFC fighter. You don't have a fight schedule. You don't, like, we don't know anything about that. So if you were doing this interview, would you be asking you about... Right, and you're, and you're, and you're laughing about that, and you, you have me on your show. This is who's not laughing? you on my no, show. No, you, you, no, but who's laughing? You, you produced an entire segment prior to me coming on. Uh, making a joke of this situation. This and I understand media. that. And I appreciate your point of view. So your demeanor off the camera is 100% different than what it is when 
you know you're being recorded and you're interviewing me. It's just, it, it, it's funny to me. Okay, so so I, I'm interested in that because I've never heard that before. How is how what is my? Of course you are. No, but what is my demeanor off camera that's different than how I am right now? You're you're you try to be friendly. You try to act like you're my friend, and then when you Damn. get me on camera, you try to act like the cool kid in school. Well, and I understand that. That's cool. You, you know, asked no, me I... off camera if if we saw each other at US, UFC 182 if I was going to big league you. Big time was the term. So you want to play in? You want to play innocent and defensive when what, you're I, not on camera, and then when you get on camera, you want to you want to act like you're hot. No, I appreciate that. No, no, you don't appreciate. I like your that. gimmick, kid. You know what? I, no, I love Damn. it. Damn! No, and then he drinks coffee, bro. It's respectful, somewhat, to be drinking coffee or tea while you're in the middle of an interview. I don't know if you do that all the time. You be disrespectful to him, man. I'm gonna punch this guy's lights out. Guys, I want to punch that guy's lights out, man. To get mad at him, ask the question if wrestling is fake. David with no chill slap that taste buds out of him not once but twice. A wrestler who's just told us how every match is fake. I ask Schultz questions that I assume all wrestlers have been asked dozens of times. What? Is this a good business? Yeah, it's a good business. I wouldn't be in it if it wasn't. Why is it a good business? Because only the tough survive. That's the reason you ain't in it. And this punk holding the camera reading he ain't in it. Reading these rednecks out here ain't in it because it's a tough business. That's terrific. What is Is that all you got? I'll ask you the standard question. You know? Standard question. I think it's a fake. You think it's fake? <laughs> When both men were interviewed and asked the question if wrestling is real, Undertaker answered the question with calm and respect, even though you can tell in a bit that he wanted to rip the shit out of him. But Vader couldn't keep his chill and went all out beast mode on him. I'm sure you've heard of this before that they say this wrestling is not for real, is it? Like, you, you are act or. Well. Let's put it this way. What we do, if it is acting, we take a normal man and break him in half. You know, that's such an unoriginal question for someone to ask. Uh, you know, and it's so easy for people to pass judgment and make uh, all these, these, these questions about what wrestling is. Wrestling is one of the finest athletic endeavors that you will ever see. Um, is it just for the wrestling shows that... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry, yeah. You give him a chance to respond to yeah, that question. This, this is the question I'm going to ask you now. I'd okay. like to respond to the same question. Okay, please, go ahead. Physically, no man can do what I do in the ring. If they could, why wouldn't they be out there making the type of money we make, enjoy the type of fame and lifestyle that we enjoy? So I find your remark and your question insulting. It's not my question. It's somebody being <coughs> Does that fucking feel fake, huh? Does that feel fake? Hey. Does it? Oh, no, no. Just Why don't you come down tonight, and before I kick his ass, I'll kick your ass. Okay. All, All right. right? Just calm down. Don't, hey, we're not here to be insulted. I'm not here to be insulted. He's gonna Hogan kick his ass, boy. What happened was when Hulk Hogan demonstrated one of his submission holds on the interviewer, he choked the guy so hard that it made the poor guy go in shock for about 11 seconds. After falling down hard on the floor and busting his head wide open, Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and the WWF were all sued by the interviewer. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, we had a very ugly incident here last week on the show. Um, Hulk Hogan and Ms. T were here, and um, uh, Hulk Hogan did a demonstration, and he he hurt me real bad. I split my head open, and I was knocked unconscious, and so on. So um, just to show that I'm not a part of their promotional tool, and this was real, I want you to take a look at this clip. And keep in mind, this was real. Take a look at it, and remember, I had no idea what was about to happen. And I'll be right back. Now, the first thing you need to know about amateur wrestling, yes. or professional wrestling, Mr. Mitchell, <laughs> you just tell me, brother, when you wanted to put spleen on it, okay? All right. It's called a front chin lock. <laughs> How about it, T? Keep it like that for a little while. <laughs> He's all right. He's just sleeping. He's sleeping. Really, that's, I, was, I was a sleeper hole. He'd be all right. He's waking up now. That was a serious right, move. Brother. A lot of people... See? It 
works. All right, brother. And now, we'll be right back after this word from you know who. It is. We'll be right back. Okay, I had no idea when I said, when I got up and said, we'll be right back, I had no idea where I was. I was in shock. And just, I know I'm bringing, doing this a little bit, maybe going too far, but can we get a close up of these stitches? Because I saw Bill Cosby today and he thought it was a hoax. And if he thought, can we read that? Is that? Dang. Can you see, that? Can you see those stitches? I'm sorry to do that to you. I, I, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to, uh, to show. Wow, that's crazy, dude. That is crazy. I've never seen that footage ever, man. Wow, that's freaking nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. And I think uh, Hulk Hogan uh, may have uh, made a bit of a mistake there. <laughs> guys, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, you want to see more videos similar to this, guys, drop a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, I will speak to all you beautiful people later. Goodbye. Cracky.